Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a tutorial on Candace Swanepoel's look in a photo shoot that she had. And if you don't know who she is, she is a Victoria's Secret model. If you want to see how I did it, then please keep watching. Thank you. I'm a little bit tan at the moment so this colour really matches me perfectly and as you can probably see the Victoria's Secret models are always like really really tanned and really sun kissed and glowy and I just thought that it's a really important factor even to just have tinted moisturiser when doing this look just so you have that glowy look like the Victoria's Secret model. So now that I've combined both the Girl Meets Pearl and the Stay Matte foundation together the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Stila powder foundation in what color it's just like a refill so i'm just going to get that and i'm just going to apply it all over my face using a big whoa got so many brushes there i'm going to apply it all over my face using a big fluffy powder brush and i'm not going to apply a lot because this is quite full coverage and we kind of want it to be a bit more natural so i'm just going to dab a bit in tap it off and just apply it all over my face really really lightly I also ended up taking a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is just in 120. Even though I'm a little bit tan now, this doesn't really make my face much more pale than it is, especially when I've applied such a dark foundation and such a dark powder. So this is just going to help set it even more and make sure that you don't apply too much as I said before because we still want the Girl Meets Pearl to like show, so we still want that bit of a glow to our face. So we just want to apply a little bit all over. Just really like dab it on. The next thing I'm going to do is brows and for my brows I'm going to use my Natio brow kit. Unfortunately I have very dark eyebrows even though I have blonde hair and I don't really have a color that would match Candace's eyebrow um, yeah eyebrow color because obviously she's quite blonde and her eyebrows are way lighter than mine but I'm just going to use the normal brow powder I use and just to find my eyebrows a little bit more and just fill them in when they need it. So I always use the colour that's right here. The lightest brown shade. Sometimes I add a little bit of the wax but it all really depends how my eyebrows are sitting but I don't really go insane with my eyebrows. I guess I like to fill them in sometimes using this. So I'm just going to quickly apply a bit of brow powder and I will show you how I do that. So, and I also just use this tiny little eyebrow brush that comes with it. It's really, really cute. And I just find this is a really cute size and a really good shape to apply the brow powder. It's fairly precise. So I just get a little bit on my brush, tap it off, and then just fill in my brows. The next thing I'm going to take is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and I'm just going to put this all over the lid and also just a little bit on my lower lash line and just around there. And all the way up to my brow. So now that I've applied my eye primer, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my shadow and the eyeshadow I'm using is Steeler's Jezebel. So as you can see, it's quite a copper type of auburn color and because obviously these colors really stand out on blue eyes and I also have blue eyes like Candace this is going to work really well in achieving her look so I'm just going to get a flat shader brush any brush will do where is my flat shader brush why do I always lose my brushes in my tutorials okay so I'm just going to get a flat shader brush any brush will do and I'm just going to tap it into here tap some off and apply this all over the lid. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm actually doing. And just really applying a generous amount. Okay. 
and really focus on the middle of your eyelid. So that's where we want to apply the most color. So now that I've applied Jezebel all over my lid, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take my Napoleon Purtis Set um, Rainbow Eye Palette. And the color I'm going to use is this really shimmery dark brown. Oh, if you can see that right there. And I'm just going to take a normal round fluffy brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of that color onto the tip of my brush. Tap it off. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of that into my crease. Just make sure I'm in the frame here. We really don't want to apply a lot, we just want the tiniest bit just to add a little bit more depth. And just really make sure we blend that in. It just really brightens up our inner corner. And this is definitely the look that Candace has. To make that pop a little bit more, I'm going to add a different gold color. And this is from the Designer Brands Eyeshadow Palette. And there are 48 eyeshadow colors in this. But obviously the color we're going to get is another gold. And sorry, it's a little bit messy because I've used it quite a bit. But the color... I'm in such an awkward position. Okay, the color I'm going to get is this one here. As you can see, I've used this one so much. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush. Tap it off and apply that exactly where I put the other gold color. The next thing you want to do is apply some mascara. Now the mascara I'm going to use for this will be my Too Faced Lash Gasm Mascara. And I'm just going to apply this to the top and bottom lashes. So now that we've applied mascara, the next thing you want to do is get a blush brush. Any blush will do, a contour brush, a bronzing brush, and get your favorite bronzer. The bronzer I'm using is my Chi Chi Goes to Rio Brazilian Goddess Bronzer. You've probably seen this in my other videos because I'm like obsessed with it. As you can see, I've kind of hit pan. It's got this random hole there now. Just going to put my blush brush in there because obviously Victoria's Secret models are always looking really bronzed and really sun-kissed and just pretty much perfect. So that's a look we're going for. Now that we've done that, the next thing you want to do is highlight. And I'm using my Too Faced Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. It's awesome. It's like a leopard print, as you can see, because it's called Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. I'm also going to get just a really small fluffy brush and get the illuminating powder and put that under my brow bone. The next part we're going to do is obviously lips. Now for my lips, I'm going to take my Estee Lauder lipstick in Tender Rose. I've used this in my natural makeup tutorial, I think it was. And as you can see, this is just a really, really natural lip color. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. So 
So for no apparent reason, my camera decided to turn off and I lost everything that I just filmed. But what I did do was I had my Too Faced Glamour Gloss in This Is Pretty. And I'm just going to do this again because, you know, you can never have too much gloss. And I just applied this on the middle of my lips. And I kind of overdrew my lips a little bit just to add a bit more definition and to just make my lips look bigger than they actually are. So just apply that into the middle of my lips. And this is the finished look. So as you can see, it's quite simple. Just really just using the copper color and just adding a lot of bronzer and a lot of, um, I can never remember the name, like Illuminator. Yeah. So basically with the Victoria's Secret look, you really want to add a lot of bronzer and a lot of Illuminator. And for Candice, um, this is the makeup look that she had in one of her photo shoots, I think it was. And it was very copper-ish and it really brought out her blue eyes, which is good because I can also wear this look whenever because I have blue eyes. And it will just bring up my eyes a lot more. So if you like the look, then please thumbs up. Also, if you're really keen to see the Victoria's Secret show in December, then thumbs up as well because I'm so excited because I like love watching it. It's so pretty. And don't we all like dream of being a Victoria's Secret model? I think it'd be awesome. Anyway, and this is the finished look. And if you like it, then let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more, then also let me know. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like my Facebook page which is Amber Fashion Avenue, Fashion Avenue. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. I'll also put my Twitter. I'll also put my Instagram. I'll also put, what else do I have? I have a lot of things. I'll just put whatever, my blog in my um, in the description box as well. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.